Hey guys, this is Lucky Girl B, and I'm doing another Sims 3 mini Let's Play. And today I made Kate Michaels. And as you can see, she is neurotic, mean spirited, insane, evil, and dislikes children. So when I made this Sim, I was thinking, hmm, an evil, mean person who hates children, what would be a good job for a person like that? And it hit me like a ton of bricks. She should be a daycare worker. Okay, so I made sure Kate's home had everything you would need for kids. It looks right to me. I mean, even look at this kid's room. There's everything here that a kid should have. Uh, an easy bake oven. A place to hang up their backpacks when they come home from school. Toys. A little area for them to play in. A television. A keg. But it's okay, because it's pink. And it looks cute. Besides, that's more for Kate than for the kids. Yeah, she tucked to herself sometimes. But you know what? She decided that she and herself does not have to explain themselves to anyone. I decided that everything shouldn't be all work and no play for Kate. So I'm signing her up for online dating. And with a profile like this, who wouldn't want to date her? Absent-minded, never knew, no sense of humor, very proper and a snob. Hmm, I kind of like that. Okay, it's almost time to start her day as a daycare worker. And those little brats, I mean, wonderful children, will be here soon. And here they come. Uh, see, we got a little werewolf baby who's ripping apart my stuff. Uh, stop doing that. Got a baby that's hungry. And we're laughing at him because he's miserable. Kid won't stop ripping up our stuff. You suck, kid. Yes, let's let him ride it outside. Let toddler ride Alfred. It's actually pretty easy to keep these kids entertained. She doesn't actually have to work that hard. In fact, the house would be a lot more quiet if we just put all the kids outside and uh, left them out there. That's right, you had your fun. Now we're kind of going to leave you here. Now let's go get the other one. Oh, you're hungry? That's a shame. We're just gonna put you outside because you're crying and making noise and stuff. And, uh, we need a drink. Sit on down. You'll be fine. Don't worry. We'll get a drink. Check our dating profile. Check responses. Yeah, see? We're gonna get you toys. I forget all about you. There you go. Now, don't come back to your parents. Come pick you up. Let's fill up our red solo cup. Oh, the kid got pee. Well, that's what diapers are for, isn't it? Fine, here's a potty. There you go. There you go, kid. Potty. See, technically, we're taking care of the children. See? The kids seem happy to me. Good mood. And now he's not smelly. Now he's in a great mood. The kids are just fine. It's all good. Oh no, where are you? We can't see you at all. Nope, I don't see you. Where are you at? Where are you at? Still candy from Alfred. Let's do that.
Let's steal candy from a baby. It's not as bad as it sounds. These kids are driving her insane. She's like, kid, you play horrible. Stop now. What else do you want? You hungry? Fine. We'll get you food. Kid, stop it so I can feed you. You're lucky I'm offering to. I don't actually have to. And your parents will still drop you off with me, even though I'm a horrible person because they're even horrible parents. I'll drink a coffee, get away from these kids. Ugh. <sighs> Take a shower and all that. Parents should be back soon to get you little kids. They're having fun, they're happy, they don't smell. I'm great with these little bastards. Ah! 250 for taking care of the little werewolf child. Nice. He's good, and the other one's great. Cool. So go pick them out there upside. Uh, I probably should have brought them back inside to keep up appearances. Like, no, I would never leave your child outside alone. That's not me. Oh, well. She's all hyped up on that coffee. She can't sleep. Rummage through garbage. What's in your own garbage? She's finding scraps of junk. Oh, a rubber ducky. A candle. Oh, we actually got good things from our own trash. Why did we throw these things out? <laughs> she looks like a raccoon. Oh, there's that dead guy we wanted to date. And because, uh, I want to, let's cheat. Uh, dude, you're right in the middle of our conversation. Can you please not be? Speak madness. Madness. How about your mastermind plot? He likes her and all her crazy evil weirdness. I don't get it. Why is it cheats not working for the relationships, but it's working on motives? That makes no sense. Let's get back to the online dating. Just in case this ghost guy doesn't pan out. Wow, reply to the nice pick. You are totally not my type. But we just made out with him on the sidewalk. Finally, a profile that isn't completely made up. Let's be friends, Kate. Okay. Then we got Chester, which is actually Charlie. Uh, as in Charlie Swan from Twilight. His daughter, Bailey, or as most people know her, Bella, is in this game, too. Okay. Anyway, Chester says, call me crazy, but I think we could have a match here. Give me a call sometime. Okay, we'll see. Hey, where's the ghost guy? He's not here anymore. What, does he not have a cell phone because he's dead? I mean, we just made out with him. He's, he's real. He's not imaginary. Ah, uh, and here comes the kids. Welcome to day scare. I mean, daycare. Right. Let's pick up him. Put his butt outside. See, my house stays nicer when you kids aren't in it. So you stay out there. Then I'll feed you. See, there you go. Now you all stay away from me. I'm getting a drink. You know, I haven't stole candy from you. Let me steal some from you. I don't know why. I just really love standing, stealing candy from children. Oh, she's freaking out. <laughs> she needs another drink. Yeah, that will solve the problem. Starting to feel a little crazy? Have a drink. Because that will mellow things out. Maybe we should invite one of these guys over who responded to our profile. So we don't have to drink alone. We'll make them friends with us too. We'll make the kids friends with us also. And the parents. Let's make everyone love us. Oh, now we're celebrities. Cool. 
In fact, we should have a party. We should be like, you know, getting wrecked right now. I mean, the kids are fine. Like, uh, sorry, kid, but uh, it's time for me to have some fun. Uh, it's kind of awkward now that I'm holding the kid. But we have a connection. Like, listen, this isn't my kid, so don't worry about him. I'll just put him down and we can go in the back and do our thing. In fact, uh, Chester, you watch the kids for me. Great, this is great. Now I have someone else taking care of the kids. Or at least I'm sure they will, if things start to go wrong. Just need a little personal time. Yeah, follow me in here. And the kids are still good, right? One's in that thingy doing his thing. That one's fine. Yeah, the kids are great. Get over here, man. Try for baby? Mm, why not? Why not? Be my Edward. Oh, you're lame. Edward lasted way longer and you didn't even break the headboard. They got time to make out and stuff. I'm sure the kids are fine, right? Yeah, the kids are good. Look. He's just a little hungry. He's not even a lot hungry. This one's hiding in the box like a fool. Hey, why don't one of you guys feed him? Alright, vampire dude. I kind of got to get paid. So you got GTFO. See, kid, you are good, right? I left you alone for a while and you're fine. Good. Let's get the other one a bottle. Right before the parents come and make it look like you are always fed. See, yeah, good for both of them. Not great, but good. And we still getting paid. We golden. Maybe in the morning, we'll have a party. We know a couple of people now. I mean, most of them are the parents of the children we have to watch, but I'm sure they won't mind coming to our party. And then we'll have uh, our boyfriend come over, and we'll just leave the kids outside. It'll be great. I was like, all these people over to our party. House party? Then we'll have a juice kegger. Or maybe we'll show you a bonfire. We'll have a juice kegger. Yeah, bitches. Start the party at 7? No. Started at 10 a.m. Oh, yeah. Uh, swimwear? Yeah. Gonna have a good time. Let's uh, refill that keg. Well, everyone should be coming for the party soon. Oh, we got, looks like, uh, the fairy kid again. There's the werewolf kid. I don't see anybody else. You guys are staying for the party, though, right? You're gonna come back, right? Oh, he's already here for the party. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he brought food. He is so good. He should be our boyfriend, because he brings food. We don't need to know you anymore. We know everything we need to know. In fact, maybe we shouldn't just kiss him. Oh, he wants to go on a date. Oh, he's into it. Who's calling? Oh, we're going to be accused of cheating. I didn't realize we had a thing. My bad. Ah, uh, sorry. Like, listen, it's been a rough day. But you know what? If that's how he wants to play it, since that's his wife or whatever. Let's talk to her then. If he wants to be like that, two could play that game. Hey, Olivia. Nice to finally meet you. I've been locking up with your husband. Now let's see if it's in here. Uh, Chris, I her family? Not really. We just want to tell her. Fashion for Chester. 
No, we want to tell her that we were messing around with her husband. Is that not an option anymore? Well, that sucks. In fact, while he's there, <laughs> we're just going to piss him off. Oh, he broke up with us. Oh. Oh, what's going on with the kids? I forgot about them. Ooh, hamburgers. Oh, they're long. They're lonely. They're hungry. Ooh, let's do keg stands. Feel that keg. Oh, now they're fighting outside. Exactly what I wanted. Yeah, no, it's a good party. Now, somebody help me do a keg stand. Listen, kids, you're all crying and crap. Uh, here's food. They uh, attacking with a claw. Why haven't someone else been watching these kids? Now that this one's ripping up my furniture. See, he's fine. He's fine now. Let me turn on the TV for them. Oh, see, now just feed him. He's fine. Who's fighting out there? See, everyone's fine now. Put that kid down. He smells. Don't worry. We'll fix him up, too. Uh, I think we're pissing people off. Oh, but they're loving it, though. Like, it's not how it looks. Okay, maybe it's exactly how it looks. But you know what? I'm too cute for you anyway. And you're, like, dead and stuff. Look, I... I don't care if this is a baby in my arms. I will fight you right here and now. In fact, baby, can you go somewhere? Where's your, where's the other one? Oh, there he is. Listen. Someone broke my shower. These two dudes caught me cheating on them with you. And one time with the other one. These kids are fine for the moment. They have absolutely no problem. Let's have some fun. most responsible babysitter ever oh she popped uh, I should probably tell him I'm pregnant and it's his kid how do we say this nicely announce pregnancy first I'll apologize then I'll announce my pregnancy police are on their way cops are coming huh well first I gotta tell him I'm pregnant Bella, you're in high school. You should probably get out of here, too. Oh, they're all here about my belly. He's in his dry of pride. He's haunting my thing. He's probably going to get mad in a second. Be mean to him. Oh, fairy cop. Well, I'm responsible. Most responsible babysitter ever. Capture the moment.